Hi, greetings in Jesus name. Pointers along the way are brief Bible based messages I bring out, God willing, every Saturday dealing with practical aspects of the Christian life. I hope they will be a blessing to you. You can visit my website at www.c-n-c.org for my articles and books. This is pointer number 991 and its title is Make Believe is Not Faith. It is most tragic to see a terminally ill man claim God will heal him, refuse treatment and then pass away in the end. He may have sincerely believed what he said based on what he knows God to be capable of and what he has done for others. But in the end, we see that it was only a hope which he mistakenly called faith. The fact that God is able to heal and he has healed many is not enough when it comes to believing that he will heal in any particular case. because. There are also many examples of people who were not healed even when they thought they would. The difference between hope and faith is that faith has an assurance. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It is not about assuring ourselves that what we hope for will happen. But when God gives us an assurance about something, then we can be sure that it will certainly happen. If God speaks to us particularly about something we are praying for and tells us that he will do it for us, then and only then we can have that assurance. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 So faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Of course, we are not thinking only about healing here, but anything that we hope God will do for us. Unfortunately, many preachers have given an impression that faith is something we have to produce in our mind which will then make or compel or force God to do what we want. There are those who think that just as we trigger natural processes by something we do, we activate our faith by the words we speak. And when we have produced faith, God cannot do anything but answer our prayer. Not at all. God is not a force or energy that follows natural laws, such as having to give what we want when we present faith to Him. He is a person who decides what He should do from case to case. For example, He allowed Herod to kill the Apostle James while He sent an angel to deliver Peter. Faith has an assurance because it is based on truth and reality. One type of faith is in God as a person whom we trust in. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those who seek Him. From that we are assured that He is true and real and that He will do what He has promised. But there are many things we pray for where we don't have a clear promise in God's word specifically addressed to us. We still pray because we know God is our Father who loves us and He is able to do whatever He wants. But that is not enough to give us an assurance that He will do it for us. But then God can speak personally to us in our situation, directly in our heart 
or with reference to something in the Bible. For example, when Lazarus was sick, Jesus told the disciples that he was not going to die. If we hear something like that from God, then we can have an assurance that God will do what he has told us. But if he doesn't tell us something promising to do what we are praying for, we cannot claim to have faith that God will give us what we have asked for. We may even miss what God wants us to do from our side, thinking that God is going to do something he hasn't promised. But we can still have faith in God and wait to see what he will do. May the Lord bless you in your life as you have listened to these words. Thank you.